Mid Journey 5.2 just dropped and it does not disappoint. In this version, there are more tools, it has improved aesthetics, sharper images, and I'm gonna dive into everything that you need to know about the zoom out tool so that you can outpaint in Mid Journey like a pro. Let's dive in, let's go. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just enter a regular prompt, like female warrior in the summer jungle, and I'm gonna specify for an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. I'm gonna hit enter, and here's what Mid Journey produced for me. Now, I like this first image here, and so when I go and I upscale it, remember this is U1, so I upscale the first image, you can see that it went ahead and upscaled the image. Now you can see some options here that we didn't see in previous versions. We have a zoom out 2x, zoom out 1.5x, and a custom zoom. So first let's go ahead and do zoom out 2x. So as you can see here, what Mid Journey ended up doing is it ended up doubling the canvas size of the image. So now let's say out of these, I actually love this exposed stomach look. So I will once again upscale the first image. So over here to upscale the first image and now I can further zoom out. Now I wanna show this here that there's a 2X which means it zooms out twice as much. There's a 1.5X but you can also actually specify how much you want it to actually zoom. How do you do that? Well it's the same way that we have the parameter of aspect ratio and we specified 16 by nine. Here we actually have the zoom parameter which you can access by typing dash dash zoom space and then over here you have to input anything between one and two. So let's say we do 1.75. What it will do is it will go exactly in between 1.5x and 2x. So if we click submit, so as you can see here, it zoomed out even more. So to go ahead and compare it, we went ahead and we started with this image here where I went and upscaled the first one. Then we zoomed out and it went and showed it like this. And then we zoomed out even further by 1.75. And now you could see that it zoomed out even more and you can repeat this process endlessly now out of these four I like the first one and I'm gonna show you another cool thing that you're able to do with it and I'll show you that not only can you just simply zoom out and expand the image but you can play with what exactly you are expanding you can go ahead and reprompt it and direct it as far as what you're looking for so check this out so now we're gonna click custom zoom and here we can actually change the prompt. So here I'm gonna write a framed picture in an art gallery. We're gonna click submit. So this is what Mid Journey came up with. Now these two options here, number one and number three, are a little bit odd because it looks like it's hanging it not in an art gallery, but in like a jungle. And this can be odd in a way too because an art gallery usually has white wall background, but this is the way it created it, but still you could see it put it in a frame and it zoomed out even more. So I really like the second version, so I'm gonna go ahead and upscale it. And as you can see, I upscaled it here. And now what I wanna do is I wanna custom zoom one last time, but let's actually write something funny. So I'm gonna get a little wild here and say Kanye West and a bunch of cats staring at a picture. I'm gonna click submit. And so here's what Mid Journey was able to produce. So as you can see, you can endlessly keep zooming out. Now I do wanna point out one thing. The actual resolution of the photo is not gonna be a bazillion pixels. It actually stays the same amount of pixels. And it's something to keep in mind because if you think you're gonna be able to zoom in and clearly see the picture that we originally had, you're actually not so I'm gonna showcase that right now so I upscaled that final image that I liked I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna open it in browser I'm gonna go ahead and save the image as Kanye cats and you can now see the image here in Photoshop. And if you wanna see how large the image is, you can see that the image size is only 1456 by 816 pixels. And if we were to try to really zoom in on the photo, we no longer can. Remember how detailed it was? Well, we can't just zoom in on that. So if you really wanted to create a picture where you can really zoom 
really, really far into it. What you would have to do here is you would have to go to image size and you would have to really make the resolution a lot bigger. And then you would have to go to the original photo and there would be some math involved if you wanna line it up correctly. For instance, you would go to this original image and from this image, you would put it into Photoshop and then you would build it from there. So that original image would only encompass like this area here. And then you can build out from it. Again, there's a little bit of math involved, but you can make something that has a lot of pixels. And if you zoom in, it will not lose its quality unless you zoom in really, really far. The other option you see here is you can make an image a square in Mid Journey 5.2 just by selecting Make Square. So you see this image here? Well, I'm gonna select Make Square and it should make a square, but the maximum amount of pixels will be 1024 by 1024. And if you zoom 2x on that image, it'll still be 1024 by 1024. So check this out, I'm gonna do make square. It made an image that's perfect one-to-one -one ratio. And if we open it up in the browser and we zoom in, you can see that it did a pretty good job expanding the image. Now the last thing I wanna do, I opened up the image in Photoshop. I actually want to see how good the generative fill in Photoshop is. Remember, that's the new AI feature in Photoshop. I wanna see exactly how good it is relative to mid journey. So what we saw in mid journey, let's go ahead and see if we can expand this image and do so with the generative fill tool and see what happens. So let's take a look here. If I go ahead and I select all of this white area, and now I'm just gonna select generative fill, which will basically allow Adobe Firefly to go ahead and do its thing within Adobe Photoshop and fill it in. And so here's what Adobe was able to produce. Now I wouldn't pay too much attention to this line, uh, although I'm a little upset that the line occurred because you could see that my selection here was not outside the image. And so that line shouldn't have occurred, but it did occur in Adobe Photoshop. But if we go back and we take a look at how Mid Journey did, you can see here that it's quite similar. And this is the beautiful thing about competing companies. Because Photoshop is coming out with these generative fill features, that makes Mid Journey not rest on their laurels. They went ahead and they released version 5.2 with features that go ahead and directly compete with Adobe and its products. And this is amazing. You know who wins when there's a lot of competition between a lot of companies? Us, the consumers win. They will endlessly keep trying to impress us and they will endlessly keep iterating and innovating so that they could capture our attention so that we're using their product. This is why competition is great. Let's just hope that nothing dangerous happens because of the competition, because of the fact that these companies will go to endless limits to enhance their bottom lines and be seen as the premier product in the AIR capacity. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching this video in its entirety. If you appreciate this type of content, please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.